Okay, uh, we're finishing up for the afternoon and we're going to go take a little ride. Uh, the staff has asked me to to uh, record how long it takes to get from, say, Bissonette and 59 here to the emergency room. And after that, I'll give you a little introduction and explanation of what a stress test is all about. Okay, well, we're here at uh, a real popular bakery and it's at uh, Bissonette excuse me, Beech Nut and uh, Fondren, the name of the place is Aranda's Bakery. And suppose you're having chest pain, it goes away, and you have chest pain, it goes away. We'll start the clock right now, and uh, Juan's got it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go from here, which is basically uh, Beech Nut and, and uh, Gessner, right over there, and we're going to head over to West Houston. It's Friday afternoon before uh, spring break, so the traffic is going to be heavy. Uh, but we'll we'll do a, uh, a time of it and see how long it takes. We'll take uh, 59, the Beltway, and uh, Beltway uh, 8 all the way up to a, a West Park Toll Road. And then uh, stop off at the uh, West Houston Medical Center Boulevard to the emergency room. And we'll time it and see how long it takes us to get there. Okay, now we've just got on the feeder of 59. It's been about a minute and a half. And we're going to head over to... Uh, Beltway 8, and while we're uh, heading that in that direction, uh, what we typically do is we really uh, do a stress test. So if you have an opportunity to do a stress test uh, before you have a heart attack, as I've told you before, prevent, prevent, prevent. Uh, the key thing in a stress test is uh, for to have the cardiologist uh, by your side to evaluate your performance, how you're feeling, your blood pressure, your heart rate and any changes on the EKG that would indicate a potential for a heart attack. So uh, I'll talk to you when we get on uh, the Beltway. Okay, well now we're on the Beltway and it took us uh, four and a half minutes, call it five minutes to get here. Um, and as I told you, when you start having any pain that you're worried about, you might take your two uh, aspirins and chew them and let the particles get under your tongue and uh, always carry a, a bottle of aspirin in your car, like I do. And so it's taken me a little, little less than five minutes to get to this point. Uh, when you're being evaluated for a stress test, it's to see if we can reproduce the pain that you're having while you're exercising, in addition to evaluating your blood pressure, your heart rate, and any EKG changes that you're having at the time of your test with your cardiologist at your side. He can stop it immediately if you have any indication of severe disease. Uh, I'll talk to you as soon as we get over here to uh, uh, the uh, West Park Toll Road. And, uh, the West Park Toll Road coming up on the West Houston Medical Center Boulevard exit. It's taken me exactly, uh, what is that, about 12 minutes did you see? Yeah, about 12 minutes. About 12 minutes to get here. Uh, in just a minute here, we're going to pan over to the exit sign. So you'll know how to get off the, uh, going west on the West Park Toll Road. You come over here, uh, past the Royal Oaks Division, and uh, you'll see, in fact, we're coming up on the exit sign right now. Why don't you pan on over there? You see the West Houston Medical Center uh, Boulevard. You'll take a right, and in another minute or two, we'll be at the hospital. So we've made it here to the... Uh, hospital. I'm going to drive over to the emergency room uh, to get an official time. That way you'll know exactly how long it takes you to get from the Beech Nut uh, Gessner Exchange. There's that little triangle there that everybody knows about. And in fact, all that looks looks like an ambulance just showed up. And it may be a code STEMI, so I may have to go in there and take care of that heart attack right now. But anyway, my beeper hasn't gone off and my phone hasn't gone off, so uh, it may just be a car accident or some other emergency. Uh, we're going to take a, a turn here, and you'll see the emergency room. Why don't, you, why don't you just go ahead and pan over there. Oh, there's the emergency room. And what you do is you just park anywhere close to that door that you see right there and uh, walk on in and tell them you're having chest pain, that you took two nitros, and... Uh, They'll take it from there. Uh, if you go to the first video I showed you, 
uh, or I demonstrated for you what a coach STEMI is in the cath lab. We're going to take a break and go to the hot, uh, to my office, and I'll give you a little insight and some instructions as to what to expect with your stress test when you come to my office for an evaluation of chest pain. So this is the uh, treadmill room that I was referring to, and if you're uh, if being evaluated by your doctor or your cardiologist, this is what it is. It's a special instrument that registers your heart rate. Uh, you are exercised on the treadmill in a very prescribed way. Uh, there's uh, three different protocols. One is a Bruce protocol that we have here. Another one is a modified Bruce and a Naughton protocol. And then, of course, there's the manual protocol. Typically, we use the Bruce protocol, and uh, it's a stress test uh, to determine whether or not you have heart disease. And this is the problem that we're trying to evaluate to determine if you have, which is a blockage inside your coronary artery. Uh, we're looking for ST segment changes, cardiac arrhythmias, symptoms. Sometimes you have symptoms without any changes on your EKG or arrhythmias at all, and you actually have heart disease. I have saved many, many, many uh, patients' lives doing a simple little stress test to evaluate your chest pain. So uh, after your evaluation in the emergency room, if you're not having a heart attack, they would typically refer you to your doctor for a stress test, your cardiologist for a stress test, and this is where we would do it, and this is how, how would we, we would do it. Uh, typically a stress test uh, doesn't take any, any longer than, oh, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so to do it and after which you'll know pretty much whether or not you have a problem. If there's any indication or suspicion that, that there might be some problems, typically the next step would be is to do a cardiolite stress test, which is where we inject some radio, radio nucle, uh, nuclide material in your vein, uh, take a picture of your heart before and after your exercise, and if there's any defect in the picture after your exercise compared to the pre-exercise, uh, then that would indicate that there's a possible obstruction. If there's changes on the EKG or anything about your evaluation during your stress test, then the next step, of course, is we would go to the cath lab, which I described in more detail in the second video that you, that you can see at your leisure. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, you now know that uh, from the intersection of 59 and Bissonette, it takes you about 15 minutes to get to the emergency room. Uh, this was on Friday afternoon, right before spring break. The traffic was pretty heavy, uh, and I'm sure it's a lot heavier now. So, obviously, if there's a car accident or the traffic is impossibly heavy, it'll take you a little longer to get to the emergency room. Uh, and, uh, and I showed you what a stress test is all about. And if you have any questions, just give us a call.